and you've got a smile that can light up this old town i haven't seen it in a while since she brought you down so you better know all right let's not get carried away by taylor swift love you miss t swift but hey guys it's alexa welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today's video i'm super excited because i'm doing a pretty fun and different i forgot to put on jewelry fun and different video that i'm used to i don't want to talk too much i just kind of want to get right to the point i put the ring on the wrong finger and now i'm getting nervous and it's okay wait frick ow 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 yeah today's video i'm super excited about because i'm passionate about this topic I don't know if I should be embarrassed by that or not, but we are going to talk about all things lip balms. And when I say all things lip balms, I mean from EOS to Dior, we're talking all the nitty gritty lineage review. I feel like I'm pretty qualified to be talking and reviewing these lip balms because I have been, like, let's get serious now. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, I have been a serious lip balm lover from the ripe age of probably, mm, I don't know, 10 years old. I go crazy if I don't have a lip balm on me. I'm always buying and trying new lip balms to see which one my favorite is. So today I'm going to be showing you and reviewing a bunch of lip balms. I got some new ones and we're going to see which one's the best. Alright, so let's get down to it. This is in no particular order. I'm going to be saying my top three lip balms at the end and kind of giving my reasons why. But let's just start off with the tried and true Aquaphor. Now this is so old, this Aquaphor. I've literally had this tub for forever, so I just put Glossier on it. But this is not just a lip balm. It can be used for any dry, cracked skin. I love it. Perfect for the winter time, which is now coming up. I feel like you're either an Aquaphor person or a Vaseline person. I'm definitely an Aquaphor girly love it put it on my eyelashes my lips chat like my crack skin there's not one bad thing i could say about this you could get it from tubs to little things i personally like it but again you're either aquaphor vaseline person i'm definitely aquaphor vaseline just doesn't work for my lips i don't know i feel like it dries them out so we have bag bomb now i got bag bomb when outer banks had released and i was obsessed with Sarah Cameron or Madel, what's her name? Madeline, Madeline Klein, Madeline Klein. She was talking about bag bomb. I was like, I get in my obsessive phases where like I think about a product or something and I can't stop thinking about it until I get it or until I convince myself I don't need it. So I was talking about this to my mom like every single day and she was like, all right, I'll just go get it for her. Like she was telling me how my grandma used to use it. So she was kind of like, okay, I'll get it for you. I think I got it for like, $15, $10, this big tub. And yeah, this consistency is a lot different from Aquaphor and it melts a lot easier than Aquaphor. I'm like, yeah, like sometimes I would have to put it in the fridge because it wouldn't melt too much. Um, it feels a lot smoother and more greasier than Aquaphor, so I don't know if you like that. But if you're not a huge fan of Aquaphor or Vaseline, I would definitely recommend Bag Bomb. But I guess between the two, I definitely reach for Aquaphor a lot more. Now, getting more into like, I guess, chapsticks like that, Glossier. Now, when Glossier was first booming, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I have like a video on my channel from like two years ago, me reviewing all Glossier makeup. I had every single one. Now, I can't find anyone. I know I have birthday cake, mango, and cherry floating around somewhere, but I had the mint, the rose, every single one. Now I really want the hot, co hot cocoa lip balm that they released, the Swiss Miss, so that's gotta say something about my loyalty to Glossier. Glossier, if you're watching this, put me on your PR list, I love you. <laughs> but something about this, like it had a chokehold on me for such a long time this lip balm. The birthday cake one is probably my favorite. And I like how it has like a little glitter to it. I'll see if I could show you. I don't know if you could tell. There's definitely some, I, I'll just put some on <laughs> over the lip balm I have. You could get it in the cherry tint. You could get it in the rose, which is a little more lighter. Some of them have tints, some of them don't. So I really like the variety that Glossier has with this lip balm. I'll always recommend it. My one downfall to this lip balm is honestly just the applicator. I really don't like having to use my finger. I mean, you could use it like this and it still feels fine. If it had an applicator like this, you guys all know what I'm talking about. I would use it like all the time. Moving on, I guess since I just showed you this one, we'll show you Summer Fridays. 
lip balm. This one is in the tinted. I think it's like vanilla beige. They have just vanilla as well, and I think they came out with a new scent. This one has a very pretty tint to it. It does make your lips very glossy and juicy, which I like. That's another thing I look for in a lip balm, is if it makes your lips glossy and if it lasts. I know some people don't like stickiness, but if it has a little bit of stickiness to it, it will last longer. So this one I really like. I kind of wanted to get it in the vanilla one because just because that's clear and I'm the type of girl who doesn't like to wear makeup every day and I feel like sometimes if I have a tint on my lips and I'm not wearing makeup it looks a little whoa there baby. So this one I only really like to wear if I'm all done up and all but this one is definitely more on the pricier side. So that's one of the reasons why I don't grab- oh it's vegan. All right, good for you. I love the scent of it. I really like it. Nothing like jumping out of my socks for it. It's kind of almost like a your lips fit better tint. It does have a little bit of brown in it. My lips kind of looks like what the heck happened to it, but this is pretty. You could probably see me wearing it on my TikTok and whatnot. I'm gonna give my lips a minute to rest while I talk about this makeup by Mario Lip Balm. I got it in two shades, Rose Glow and Bronze Glow. I think I like the Rose Glow better. One thing I don't like about this is once you turn it up, like roll it up, you can't roll it back down because it's so soft. If you're really into the tinted lip balm look, I would get this. It's plumping. I don't really consider it a lip balm in my book. I kind of consider it more of like lip gloss lipstick, but I guess it does qualify. They come in lots of shades. Doesn't really have a scent to it. My lips need a break. Nothing personally great for me. Yeah. Carmex, I took this Carmex from my sister. I don't know, I'm just, I've never like been one to reach for Carmex. I don't think it's anything great for me. This one definitely leaves my lips feeling more dry than when I first put it on. I don't know, and it reminds me of being sick. Like the smell of it just gives me sick vibes. So that's a note for my US. Another one, so cute, smell amazing. It doesn't really leave my lips feeling any better. I have a special place in my heart for US because I was so obsessed with them for a time. It just doesn't really do anything for me, the US sticks. That's also a no for me. Laneige. Now this is probably one of the more pricier lip balms I have. I also have it in the tube form, which I like as well, but this one definitely leaves my lips more hydrated than the little tube. The tube is easier, convenient. And this, you, I don't really like to take out of my house, the tube one here, but I prefer this one for some reason. I really like the Gummy Bear one and the Con Candy. The Gummy Bear one does have a little bit of a tint to it. I mean, you can't really tell. They smell amazing. I like putting them on at night. It makes you feel all bougie. They work well for my lips. I know people do mixed reviews. When I put this on at night, I wake up in the morning and my lips feel luscious. So that might just be me, but... This Tarte Maracuja Lip Juicy Lip Balm. I saw this on TikTok. That's what made me want to get it. I got it in the clear one. It does make my lips feel nice and plump. Hmm, kind of has like a coconut scent. But like 10 minutes later, it's off my lips. So I don't know. Like it makes them look good for a few minutes, but then, and this was expensive. I probably wouldn't rebuy this one. It didn't really stand out to me. Tarte has better lip balms, like their Rainforest ones I feel like, and those ones I like a lot more than this, so not doing it for me. This Dior lip balm, we all know when Dior was blowing up with the lip oils, lip balms, everything. This is by far the prettiest lip balm I own. This is in the shade Rose one, yeah Rose one. I got it in, well my boyfriend got it for me in Disney. Disney World, so it has a special place in my heart. I don't really like to use it. It's kind of one of those things I just want to keep forever. But again, like this isn't something you need. This isn't a lip balm that's like gonna change your lips and make you feel like a beautiful magical fairy. It was expensive for the price. Is it pretty? Yes, but do you need it? No, absolutely not. Now, moving on to our last lip balm. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, Mary Hope Badescu, if you guys don't know the brand. They have a lip balm too, very good, $7. Love the way it feels on my lips. Same with the Kiehl's, Mario Badescu and Kiehl's, those two, around the same price, like I wanna say $7 or so. Perfect, love them, love them. So yeah, all right, now moving on to last. 
Hailey Bieber's Road Skin Lip Balms. Now I love it. I got it in the salted caramel scent. I loved it so much. I got another one of it because I loved it so much. And then I wanted to get the watermelon and the unscented as well. Um, I gave the unscented one to my brother's girlfriend because she wanted unscented. You know, some people just like prefer. So that is what I think is so great about Hailey Bieber's Lip Balms. It comes with unscented watermelon, salted caramel. Um, these ones look absolutely beautiful on the lips. They make your lips look so nice and juicy. Let me, that's what I had on in the be beginning of this video. If you want to go back and look, cause now it might not look so good. I have my nails like hurt, oh my gosh. Hashtag follower, hashtag unoriginal, hashtag basic. Both of them, amazing. They taste amazing too. So, keep that in mind, but they do just make your lips look so nice and juicy. They don't tingle or anything, they're not like plumping, but they make your lips look nice and juicy. So, I have been loving these ones at the moment. There's nothing bad I could say about them. The price is a little bit, but I guess it is because it's Hailey Bieber, so it's kind of like, I mean, you could compare it to Brand at Sephora, like the Summer Fridays and Lineage, just like around the same price. Say hi to the camera, but more. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm finishing this video with honey on my lap, as you guys saw. But it's okay. I'm professional. She's professional. Work with what we got. Right, so, my top three, um, gonna have to go with Aquaphor. Great price. You can't get any better. If you're looking for just quality and, like, not of that other fluff, like lip tints, scents, and all that. Up for his best lip balm for dry skin or dry lips. I'm gonna have to go with Glossier in my top three as well, just because of all the different scents they have, all the different tints, and I actually have like I think it is a good lip balm. Good price. It's like kind of in the middle considering some of the price of other things, like twenty dollars for lip balm. And then last, but I guess not least, I'm gonna have to put Road in my top three as well because. I've been using this peptide lip treatment so much that it would be like rude of me not to put it in my top three. I love it so much. It makes my lips feel super nice. The scent is amazing. So like if you want to treat yourself and you're looking to get a lip balm like just for fun that you love, then I would definitely recommend the Broad Lip Balm. It honestly makes more sense I feel like to get it in the pack of three, but I'm not too sure how much that comes out to. Same with Glossier, if you do a pack of three, I think it comes out to like $10 per lip balm. Comment down below what your favorite lip balms are, because I definitely will try them out, add them to my collection. Um, let me know if you want to see any other videos like this, like maybe trying out a bunch of lip glosses or mascaras next. I hope you all have an amazing day, and as always, peace, love, and blessings. Bye my loves.